Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ash, and this is Silent Bloom, a game made in MV3D by Hexagon. And we just saved outside what I am going to assume is the boss room. What kind of mechanics can I look forward to dying to? Let's find out. The Ceremonial Palace. Well, maybe I won't die just yet. I love this aesthetic. Really... Oh, don't know, we have Z fighting. Makes sense. The game is already very anime protagonist. I just love the decorations everywhere. This world is alive. It's alive. I feel like I am going to run into something quite powerful down there now, though. Aren't I? This door requires three guardian keys. Each are hidden within both of these worlds. Find them, then return here. Beyond this gate remains a trapped restless soul in paradise, bounded by what remains of their dreams, built to last. To enter, one must collect the three guardian keys hidden within this voided world at the temporal world, be wary. Each may offer a bit of a challenge. A key hidden in the dark, shallow halls within the depths of the structure of education. A key hidden within a maze structure of blue and yellow flames and a key hidden within a cell through an unreachable gap. All right. Fair enough. I think I've got the... Uh, I'm actually not sure which key I would have gotten, what that would have been counted as. Because I had to go into the basement of the school to get it, but I didn't get it while in the basement of the school. I went to a different world. Oh, does that just lead back here? That would be pretty cool. That would make me feel like this map is... Yep. That's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, the map is... It's hard for me to wrap my head around, but I am a bit challenged when it comes to this stuff anyway. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. And stay back. I wanted to, um, ah oh man, come on, ah. Oh. I wanted to note, for anybody wondering, that the active combat system in this game was done with events purely. Uh, switches, uh, not plugins, and that's something I really should have pointed out in the last episode, but it kind of escaped my attention as I was looking at, I'm getting a lot better at the fighting, as I was looking at the description for the game and stuff. Uh, no, no, no battle plugins were used here, just just common events and hey you jerk common events and switches hey get over here over here there, there you go there you go you are being extremely frustrating I guess I have no choice but to get hurt Just frantically smash the space bar, you know. I'm smashing the space bar almost as hard as you're smashing the like button on this video. Ooh. I lit that fire with my sword. I love this place. Love it. I haven't even felt the need to turn down any of the settings or anything. Although, that may come off as more of a flex about my CPU, which is an i7. 10,000 something K. So it literally won't work without a graphics card. Okay. of blue and yellow. 
We have a puzzle coming up. Yeah, maybe we do. Or this is... Yeah, this is the labyrinth. There's the gate key. What? Oh, those should come down. Okay, so go back and hit the uh, flame to get those walls to come down. I've already got the gate key, so I don't probably even need to be here, but I'm gonna hit it anyway because I don't want to miss anything. I'd like to play this through to completion. Ah, no, there's not. I already got it. So that's interesting. You can be in the room where the guardian key is, but unless you enter with the button already pushed, you'll never actually get the guardian key by solving the puzzle that's in the room. That seems quite unfair. Very tricky. Hmm, unless that's not the case. No, it looks like that's not the case. Then I cheesed it by accident. I'm sorry, Hex. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Awesome. So we're just experiencing the puzzle as it was intended to be. <laughs> After we cheesed it. Uh, making sure that there's no more cool items or anything. There is a door. Let's look out the door. Does that lead outside? No, not yet, it doesn't. Huh? Why is there a shadow here? Probably no big deal. Oh, that's... Oh, it's a trap. One that could kill me instantly. Alright, we'll just venture behind it. No big deal. Power and health boost required. They've been replenished and increased. Oh, I can tell. That's nice. Go on. Go on, nah. Get. And then I need to uh, run through that, apparently. Okay, go, 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 go. Trap avoidance. Success. It's not my first rodeo. Oh. God, this place. Um. Don't make me do it. I can't tell what tile I'm on. I know it's tile collision based. Ah! There's a door there, but there's an item around the corner. I'd rather get the item first, so let's go get the item. No! No! Ah! Okay, like nothing to worry about. Full health. What is that? Harp tuner acquired. Use this to tune a harp. Oh, nice. Does this lead to the same place the other door leads? I bet it does. I bet that door right over there, as a matter of fact, leads back into that room. Let's verify that before we go too much farther. Yes. Good. Good. So I can mentally map out this place and I can block off those places as being places I don't need to go back to. Perfect. And here's the other side of that weird crab room. Actually, this is the same side of it, looks like. Just go. Just go. Alright. We made it. Zero deaths. Perfect. Oh, that's it. And we're back here. Okay. I don't think there's anywhere else in this school that I need to be. This this isn't a school. I don't know what to call this. It's definitely the different the other world. The silent bloom, silent hill. But I think I've explored 
Yes, I've explored everywhere I need to be here. So let's go back to the real world. Or rather, let's save. And then see if we can't unlock that gate now. No, because I only have two guardian keys. Now, with extra realization. Realization that we can dig through the trash for money. When I get done playing games today, I'm going to try that in real life. I'm going to start with my own trash. I bet I find all kinds of money in there. Hi. Could you not be so spooky? You're not spooky. You're adorable. You're just a cute little ghost grill. You haven't done anything wrong. I think. Maybe. Except for a few twists and turns, this path has been, so far, kind of linear, but also like there's been a couple of different branches. And I think I've went through a couple of the possible branches and I've done what I can. So now I just have one more gate key to find, which will be somewhere out here in the school. Where have I not been yet? We haven't found the highly volatile, volatile energy here yet. Dig around the trash? Yep, you picked up 280 cash. Unbelievable. We've got to be on the lookout for this volatile energy. It's not our jellyfish friend. They're not harmful at all. We have a random table in this random room more trash i've already i've already dug through that trash in particular uh no 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 did she break my neck? Oh, she's the highly volatile energy. You know, I trusted her. I trusted Ghost Grill. I know where to go. I know what to do. The answer to this lies in the fact that after I completed that first room of enemies, I did not burn the paper wall immediately after getting the ability. And I have no idea what's behind the paper wall. There could be a gate key. There could be, I don't like you anymore. There could be a, an upgrade, a health and EP upgrade. We'll see, we'll find out shortly. Still finding money in trash cans. This harp is out of tune, it cannot play. You have a harp tuner. You've tuned the harp. And now it's a real harp again. I've gotten myself a bit lost, but I'm in the workshop hall. And currently looking for that last room. I'm always finding exactly 280 cash in the trash. Cash in the trash, cash in the trash. I think it was in the opposite building. There we go. This is where I wanted to be. Put away the sword, bring out the uh, magic. Put away the magic, bring out the sword. Yes. Now that that's done, we have a new area to explore. Are you an energy orb? Uh pretty bare room all things considered let's get through this next barrier door loading first floor first floor hall uh nothing this way except trash nothing this way except trash Trash. That's right, I called you trash. You're literally made of paper. Okay. And nothing here except trash with cash. 
I came from there. What's in here? It should not be logistically possible for there to be a door right there, but here we are. Oh, A pretty wrecked room with a fortuitously placed ramp of wreckage. Can I go up there? Oh, I can. That's so lovely. Boing. Boing. And in case you... Oh, there's no more boings. I was about to make a dumb joke. Didn't work. Through the door we go. I highly doubt Cutie Virus watches my videos, but um, in addition to thanking Hexagon for creating this fine example of an MV3D game, I have to thank Cutie Virus for this MV3D plugin. It makes a whole new world possible. You might ask, why? Why MV3D? Why not just use Unity? Why not just use X Engine? Yeah, if you're suggesting people use Unity, you are really missing the point. The point that I have belabored over and over again on this channel is that not every engine is for everybody. Not even what you think is the best engine. And in some cases, your favorite engine to some people, it's just going to suck. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean that they're wrong. It just means, well, it is what it is. Every one of these game engines is different. They all provide different challenges during development. They all provide different rewards during exploration of their features. This one in particular is ideal for anybody who understands RPG Maker, event logic. What the heck? Don't fake me out like that. Come on, where is my gate key? And speaking of gate key, we don't believe in gatekeepers around here. We do not believe that game development should be gate kept. It's not something that you should try to stifle the progress of others on because that doesn't point to a creative community. That points to someone who has a belief that their view on development, on art, on construction is somehow superior, is somehow infallible, that using an engine like Godot or Unity or Unreal or Construct 3, or any engine, is objectively the only and best choice when this cannot be the case, because they too have their limitations. They too have things that they can't do as well. In particular, they cannot accommodate novices or people who do not wish to code as well. Yes, there are node systems. Yes, there are plugins. But these are afterthoughts. These aren't part of the basics of some of these packages. These are questions you would have to know to ask. And the presentation of the systems by which these engines operate must be learnable. They must be intuitive for a given audience or that audience cannot use them. Not everybody learns the same way. Not everybody has the same learning style. Not everybody is going to approach the same engine and say, ah, this is easy to use and it's fun. So, with that said, where? The how the heck did I get up there? How? How? This layout makes no sense. Ah! I mean, the layout does make sense. I, I literally went up a ramp and I, I made it to a new room. I don't want to be here though. <laughs> See, I remember killing an enemy in this room earlier. Making it through this door. I don't. Did I actually go through this door ever? This is second floor English. Evidently, there's cash I didn't pick up from the trash yet. I believe I have solved the flame puzzle and the. Uh, I think the other. Riddle alluded to the fact that there was treasure in a place with 
a labyrinth. Might have been the same place. I don't know, my direction senses are being highly challenged and they are already stunted. I may need to call it in the interest of time. One thing's for sure, the usage of this engine has come a long way since Trapped at Home. Uh, although there are some strong Fractalis vibes coming from this prologue, there is a lot more 3D models though and a lot less just building with the tiles. There's a lot more world here. It's not just tiles of cohesive design like in Fractalis, which few games actually do rise up to that level, despite it being one of the very first MV3D games. We'll explore this room one more time, and if I get caught by a sweet, scary, spooky lady, I will have to say that is it for now. I think she's going to stay in that room. I think we're safe. So we're going to put one hand on the wall to our right and attempt to navigate without getting caught. Hmm. There she is. Oh, she can go through walls. That's not fair. There is a guardian key hidden within this room. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. But I'm pretty sure I haven't collected the guardian key in, in this series of rooms yet. I've been too preoccupied with the jellyfish and the message of the highly volatile presence. Or I probably have collected the key and I'm just being really dumb. more likely than you think. Although I do know that message lingers after you have collected keys. It'd be really funny if I was digging around in the trash and I found the key. No, no, ah, crap. Okay, looks like I've got to call it here. <laughs> no, why do you have to be creepy? Eh, <laughs> <laughs>